going on folks? We got a 97 Chrysler Town & Country minivan. She called this the minivan channel here. All the work I've done on it. Today we're doing, guess it, spark plugs and wires. So, the fun part of this job is that, of course, the three front spark plugs, anybody could do that. But, the three back spark plugs are slightly kind of what we call a nightmare all right so so far i've had to take out the top call panel call let's put the screws on top you'll figure it out and then next i'm going to take this whole tray out here which is the uh, the whole wiper assembly thing because as you can see maybe <laughs> exactly the spark plugs in the back of the motor are basically impossible to get to you can't get to them from underneath the only way to get to them is to remove this piece and then we have to pull out the alternator, yep, and this whole bracket system here, as you can see. So we're gonna do that and then we'll come right back. Let's see here, gives you a lot more room for the engine. Not enough room to get to those back spark plugs yet, still. It's just giving you a little more breathing room. So next is the alternator and brackets. And here you go. Now we got the uh, alternator, as you can see, out of there. And now, we're gonna try to get to those. As you can still see, there's the first plug. <laughs> and the other two are still not even in your sight. So you just gotta get a little creative, and uh, we'll come back. Okay, so we get the first plug out. Now, I don't know if you can get a good look at this or not, but where is it? Holy moly, that's a gap right there. So the gap's supposed to be, I believe, 0.50. And we did the new plug to 0.50. And I believe this plug, I can't do this while I'm holding the camera, but as you can see on here, this is at about 90. <laughs> so you can clearly see well, I can clearly see, I'm sure you can't, but anyway, this plug is seriously worn out. And if you look at the uh, contact point there, I know you can't focus with this camera, sorry. Try it like this, this that's better. So if you get a good focus, you can see this thing is burned bad. And that would probably explain the rough idle compared to what it's supposed to look like, compared to what this one looks like. So side by side. I would say that this thing needed plugs a much longer time ago. Okay, so we got one. <laughs> we got the first plug out and installed. I'm gonna go down here with the camera and see if maybe you can see what the back of that engine looks like. See those? No, that's not it. That heavy covered metal thing there sticking out. Yeah, I can't point to it, but that's the third plug in the back. So. To make it easy for me, you can do it any way you want, I don't care. I pulled this off. This is the spark plug wire in the middle. So I just went one, two in the middle and then three on the end. Um, that's my trick, I don't know, do whatever works for you. Right, one more quick tip. I don't know if this will help you or not, but um, the standard three inch short extension is not gonna work because the top of the ratchet will hit the intake manifold. So I have this little it's kind of like a hand thing in between, and that's about half, so it's about an inch and a half. So with this socket, inch and a half on that, you can get to and from those plugs. But like I said, with the standard, uh, I think that's the shortest one I have, 3 8 is a uh, three inch extension. It's not gonna do it. So just so you know, it's a super time. fun job. Okay, we got all the uh, new wires in, new plugs in, we got them gapped. Anti-seize on the threads, a little silicone on the wires if you really want to go the extra mile. And then I uh, actually put a new coil pack in uh, just a while back. And then I'm going to reinstall the alternator here. Put all these bolts ground. Make sure you got it hooked up in the back. And that's the next step. 